Lucas. Lucas, wake up. What are you doing here? What happened? The, the police found me. I managed to get away. I walked all night. I, I didn't have anywhere else to go, so I came here. My god. This time you really have to go to the police, Lucas. There is no other solution. I'm not turning myself in until I understand what happened. Agatha. I saw Agatha again. Here, just a while ago. She, she's dead, but she had some things to tell me. I, I think she wants to help me. Agatha is dead? Are you telling no. me that you... No, I didn't kill Agatha, Marcus. She was dead by the time I got there. But you're saying that you talked to a dead person? Yes. None of this makes any sense. Well, she was a psychic with powers or stuff. Powers. Something strange is happening to me, Marcus. Since the murder, I, I find I can do abnormal things. I see visions of certain events before they happen. Sometimes I can even hear what people are thinking. And my body has become much stronger and faster. Nobody has powers like that. You're not turning into a Superman, Lucas. Think of the when you were kids. So what are you going to do? You can't stay here. The police will certainly come to question me, and probably place me under surveillance. I have to find some place to hide. I'm a fugitive. My description will go out everywhere. At least now I know that there is an explanation. I need to find the people who are behind all of this. Go to the library. Be careful, Lucas. They'll kill you if they get the chance. Nothing could be worse than what I see in my visions. Uh, Marcus. Lucas has gone insane. I'm protecting a murderer. But I can't betray my brother. Dear God. Help me. Tell me what I should do. Yeah. Bellevue Asylum. Tiffany's place. The X. Hello. My name is Barney. Detective Carla Valenti. You've come to see Janos, isn't that right? He's down the second corridor on the right. You finished. Oh, another power outage. It's the sixth time today. Not surprising, though, with this cold weather. Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. Remember, Janice's cell is down the second corridor on the right. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you, Barney. I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer, there was no doubt about that. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten killings. Alright, so I am going to call the set here. It seems like, a, well, a good moment, I guess. This seems like a decent, well, outro shot. It's, well, it's an asylum, you can't really get anything great, can you? But yeah, that's a crazy set, I must say. And, um, thanks. Yeah, thanks, just shove me aside, I'll shove right over. But yeah, things are going crazy, and... Yeah, D definitely didn't expect this once I, st well, started the game. I mean, Lucas's apartment, what the hell was going on there? Was it like that before, when Marcus came there? I mean, when we controlled Marcus, it was not like that, so... I don't know, when did that happen, and why did they make that happen? Did they have to... I don't know. Did they have to do that from Lucas's apartment to control him like that, or...? I really don't know, but I hope I hope it'll explain itself. And uh, yeah, I'm so curious as to where this is leading. Seriously, I don't know. It's 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 such an interesting game, it really is. But I'll refrain from you know just going on on a ramble towards the end because well, if you're watching this out of date, then you're just like, well, shut up, dude. I just want to watch the next set. But yeah, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. 
and I'll see you guys next time. See you, dudes.